what's up you guys it's march 13th uh saturday the 13th 2021 up here in the big bear lake california area and we are just doing a aftermath video to show you guys what's uh what was left behind from mother nature from this last storm and uh funny enough i think i was dead on again and I know it's just luck, like it's, it's, it's like, you know, but when you look at the radar and like, it looks like it's going so fast, like it's really easy just to like do simple, simple mathematics in your head to just, you know, see how fast it's moving and the intensity that it's at. So that's how I make my little predictions. Like it's, it's so simple uh, and I just don't know how every other media outlet when they, they see the same thing, <laughs> but they said that we were gonna get like 25 inches more than uh, than we got. It's crazy. I heard at some point some 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 people said there's a chance to get over 30 inches, but most people were, were saying we'll at least get about 20 inches up here in spots. Nope. Nape. Not even the highest part got a foot. We got close to a foot up in upper moon or upper uh, moon ridge, but that's about it. There is uh, one of our shopping centers. It's got a Stater Brothers in there. That's the mo that's the busiest Stater Brothers in the country. And I think this is the the busiest Vons in the country. And our Domino's Pizza is the busiest Domino's Pizza in the whole country. No, the second busiest Domino's Pizza in the whole country. Um, I don't know if that's just during the winter time. I think it's just during the winter time, but. It's the second busiest Domino's in the whole country during the winter time, and Mammoth Lakes is number one. Isn't that crazy? For me, that makes me want to open up a pizza joint in a bunch of small, snowy areas. <laughs> you know, man, just just work for half the year and make two years worth of income. But yeah. So anyway. I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you guys once again for all the love and support. You're always always sending me through the comment sections and stuff and um, and the donations and this and that. You guys are marvelous. Simply marvelous. Yeah. So what we're gonna do right now, we got a, we got a little bit of traffic out here. It's not too bad, but it is the weekend. Uh, the snowstorm ended last night. That was it. Actually, technically, it, it ended at like, like early this morning, like two in the morning or something, but. Yeah, and then right there, that's Snow Summit. That's Snow Summit Ski Resort right there. So you guys need to come up here and have so much fun. Just come up here and have a great time. You'll love it. Because the fact is, most of you, not most of you, all of you, most of you, who do I think I am? Most of you deserve stuff like this, man. All of you deserve stuff like this. You know? Because we're, we're living, we're alive. And this is kind of what life's about, just, just enjoying life. And yeah, I understand responsibilities are paramount um, to any success and any happiness. I believe. I believe. But... That's why I just want you guys to just come up here, man. Get out of get out of the the extended concrete jungle for a little bit, and just come up here to the concrete playground because it's a little smaller than a jungle. And uh, yeah, just just come take a load off, you guys. You guys mean so much to me. It's crazy. Like I, I just don't know. I don't know how or why. Uh, like, uh, well, I was going to say, I don't know how or why you, you guys continue to, you know, just, just love on me like that. And it's, I know I deserve it now, but like still, it, it, it's just mind blowing because it's still new. It's still new to me to have all this love and support, you know, steady. So thank you guys. <clears throat> Get over, get over, you got it. So you're changing lanes for what purpose? Okay, that didn't make any 
making sense. Change lanes and slow down. He got into the fast lane and then he slowed down. Well, it's not the fast lane, but then he slowed down. I just, I, I don't get it. Like, I let him over. I thought he was going to make a left turn somewhere, but he just wanted to, like, slow me down, I guess. I sometimes get a little irritated. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. And the dude's totally fine. Like, it's nothing about him. It's just, it's, it's me. So, I'm not perfect. I'm really not. I've, I've made a mistake here and there. I think I've made three mistakes in my whole life. <laughs> Every minute of my whole life, I make three mistakes. Um, yeah, that, yeah. I hope you guys don't ever get like uh, mad at me when I get upset driving. Because once again, I am I am human, and I do have a conscience. So I do end up talking about my initial reaction towards the actions and uh um you know hindsight's always 2020 and i just uh sometimes wish that i didn't have to go back into the tumultuous view of hindsight and just 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 do things without uh <laughs> having to revert back to oh what could have been or <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go through the village and then head back. This is going to be a short, short update video. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to shut it off right now because these, we're, these ladies hit the button and it's going to take us forever. Hi. That's a cool, she has a cool jacket though. I like that. I love those down jackets, man. They're so freaking awesome. But hang on. I'm Hi gonna... guys. Okay, now we're going to go into the village. Once again, it's the Robin Hood Resort. We just stayed there, you guys. And don't, uh, I'm created a playlist that I've put the few places that I've lodged in Big Bear. I think it's only like six or seven so far, but um, that's because like it's when I first started up here with this channel, you guys, I was just about homeless. I, I had nothing. I had zero. And uh, um, one of you guys donated my first camera. Believe it or not, man. Melissa Wallbacker. What a, what an angel, man. I miss you, Melissa. I miss you a lot. I don't know what happened, but we lost contact with each other. Um, uh, yeah, man. She actually came up to... I was a cook at Bear Mountain. Like, yeah, dude. I, had a, I loved it. It was a fun job. I was a cook at Bear Mountain three years ago. And, uh... Um... Whoops, on. Look at all these people. Uh... Hang on a sec, guys. Sorry about that. I just got a message. I have to take this real quick and then I'll get right back to you. All right. Sorry about that. So what I was trying to say is that three years ago I was working at Bear and I was still like so destitute. I had nothing. Um, didn't have a pot to piss in. Nothing. And, you know, it's the hard work, the efforts. Um... The, the consistency um, showed you guys or, or like something something and she ended up driving up to Bear Mountain this wonderful lady Melissa very beautiful too drove up to Bear Mountain from down the hill with a brand new GoPro that she bought from Best Buy with the receipt and it was uh, she, she paid cash for it and so the receipt said cash, this and that. And then the first thing she uh, says, she's like, yeah, if this isn't something you want, here's the receipt. I paid cash for it. You can just take it back and get cash. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I, I started crying and everything. <laughs> like it was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. So uh, yeah, Melissa got us our first camera. It was a GoPro Hero 5. Brand new, brand new. Like uh, everyone at my work was freaking out. They're like, no way. And then they're like, oh my God, Nick's famous. <laughs> it was so cool. Because it was a YouTube fan is what they call it, I guess. But you guys are my friends. But a YouTube fan came up here and freaking gave me just just, in, just like a $400 gift. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? So that was pretty insane. I, I had never received any donations, guys. Nothing. So that was the first. And not only was it like a donation, but it was huge, dude. Like 400... That's just about my rent every month. Like I, I pay a little more than that every month. Like it's like, holy crap. What, just what amazing people you are. So, um, yeah, just my, my consistency and stuff, uh, over time showed, showed you guys that I guess I am worth 
helping out a bit because I'm I'm bringing some sort of a service for you guys too, and uh, and I guess you guys a acknowledge that. I don't look at it like that. I don't drive around saying, "Well, I do things for you, so like, please do something for me." It's not like never. You'll never hear me verbally ask you guys for anything ever. I just put it down in the uh, the description of the channel once in a while, or no, and uh, it it's on the the preset uploads. So it goes on every single video down in the, the description section. But I'm too embarrassed to ask for anything because this is a passion of mine and, and I'm gonna do it anyway, um, no matter what. Broke, rich, not either, right in between. Like, I'm still gonna do it, no matter what. And we're on Pennsylvania Avenue right now, turning left on Jeffries. Um, yeah, so. Gonna turn right on Oak. We're just taking the back street from the village home. We're gonna take this all. We're, we're gonna take these back roads all the way to Moon Ridge Road, you guys. But yeah, I appreciate you guys <laughs> believing in me, and I get such an amazing natural high from helping you guys out. Or when you guys ask me a question about something or or you tell me that my advice probably saved you guys a ton of time and pain possibly so thank you guys it's a cute dog all right so I can't remember what the street is because I wasn't paying attention uh let's see what is the street Eureka Eureka how could I have forgotten <laughs> All right, so that was Eureka, and now we're on, uh, oh man, <laughs> I can't even remember this street right now. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, McWhitney. McWhitney, bro. It's McWhitney, dog. Then we're going to turn right on Brownie Lane right here. Then I got to pull over and take this phone call. But I'm going to let it ring a couple more times. Hang on. So this is Brownie Lane. This is the first street running parallel when you turn off of Big Red Boulevard. And we're just gonna stop right here for a moment. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sorry about that. I got inundated just a little bit ago and I, I, I couldn't get home to get this uploaded. So I'm just gonna attach this last little part to the end here and uh, I will get this uploaded right now.